You know, gravy is good, but whenever you make gravy with turkey drippings and bacon, ho, 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 there's not much better out there. Loosen up that belt and get ready. Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, and we're going to dive into a delicious turkey gravy with bacon. Nothing sounds better for the holidays. Buckle up, let's go. All right, so let's hit it. This gravy, it has two absolutely phenomenal tastes that are combined to make a delicious holiday festive gravy for Christmas or for Thanksgiving. You've got that turkey in the oven. It's creating those delicious drippings. So let's work on the second main flavor for this gravy, the bacon. Ho, oh, and there's not much better out there than bacon. You know, it's just so hearty. It's delicious. It has such a flavor explosion. You have to put it in gravy. And once you see how easy it is to do this gravy recipe, oh, 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 your mind will be blown. But at any rate, I'm using six slices of bacon. You can use any type of bacon that you like. Whatever you have at home, go ahead and use it. It's roughly 130 grams or four ounces. Put it into that saute pan. Use the same saute pan that you're gonna make the gravy in. It leaves a lot of delicious fond and we're also gonna reserve that fat. We're gonna use that to make our roux. Oh, 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 oh. this is gonna be a fantastic gravy for any holiday event, for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, you name it, this is delicious. All right, and as you can see, I'm getting pretty excited about this, but check out that grease. That fat, that grease, that's perfect for our roux. I'm gonna reserve that to the side, keep it for later for whenever we do the roux. I'm pouring it into a spouted measuring cup. It'll make it a little bit easier to pour into the tablespoons whenever I'd measure it out to put into the roux, but you can put it into a bowl or any heat-proof glass, ready to go for whenever we make that roux. Now it's time to hit that bacon. I'm gonna chop it up. You can chop it up to the desired size that you like. You can make it nice and fine, teeny, teeny, tiny pieces, or you can make it chunky, just taster's choice. But go ahead and give it a bit of a chop. We're gonna put this to the side for later. We're gonna put it into the gravy at the end of the gravy making process. All right, so the painstaking few hours of having to wait and smell those delicious smells in the air are over. That bad boy bird is done, and it did what it needed to do. It made those drippings. Check out that goodness in that pan. That brown, that's fond. That's flavor, that's deliciousness, and that is going to be crucial for our turkey bacon gravy. Keep everything in the baking tray. We're gonna use everything, including the fat. We'll separate that a little bit later and you'll see what I'm gonna do with it. But we're adding three cups or 750 milliliters of turkey stock to the baking tray. It's on a burner over medium to medium low heat. You don't have to boil this. You just wanna keep it hot. Obviously the pan's hot already because it's been in the oven, so make sure you're careful and don't get burned. Grab a flat bottom wooden spatula and scrape the bottom and the sides of the pan. Make sure that you get all of that fond into the cooking liquid. That's flavor and you want that flavor to be in that liquid. And you don't need to simmer or boil this. You're really just incorporating that fond into the cooking liquid. Once it's incorporated, then you're ready to go. Grab a fine sieve or something to strain the cooking liquid in. You're gonna get out all those big chunks. I'm straining it into a fat separator and you'll see why I'm doing that in just a moment. Give the fine sieve a little bit of a tap to get all of that liquid out. You definitely don't wanna smash that through. It'll just smash all of those big chunks into your gravy and you don't want that. But check out that rich, delicious dripping stock. It's purely packed with flavor. So now I'm gonna separate that cooking liquid that was made with the drippings from the fat or the grease. That's why it's really important to have a fat separator. The reason why I wanna do that, I'm just not being anal here, I'm just separating it because I wanna use that grease, I wanna use it to make that roux. That grease from the turkey drippings is absolutely power packed with flavor, just like that bacon fat. So check out all that grease or that fat right there. That is deliciousness, it's power packed with flavor, and we're gonna bring that flavor to our roux. All of our ingredients are ready, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a turkey gravy with bacon. Put the pan that you cook the bacon grease in over medium heat. Add two tablespoons of that bacon grease to the pan. Grab that fat separator that has the grease or the fat from the turkey drippings. Put two tablespoons. Look, it's just enough. We just had barely enough there. It's perfect amount. This, all of this is gonna add tons of flavor. Now take a flat bottom spatula, scrape the bottom of that saute pan, incorporate all of those bits and pieces of fond from the bacon into the liquid. If you don't have enough grease from that bacon or the turkey, you can always substitute with a little bit of butter. After all of the little bacon bits on the saute pan have been incorporated into the fat, grab some flour, four tablespoons, 32 grams, throw it on in, give it a little bit of a whisk. So check out this roux. It's deep, it's dark, it's brown, it has all of the flavors from the bacon, has wonderful flavors from the turkey fat. 
Whenever you cook this, you can just smell the deliciousness coming into the air. And because the roux is rich and it's dark, it's a little bit harder to tell whenever it's done cooking. But after approximately two to three minutes, you'll start to smell a nutty type smell. Once you smell that nutty smell, then you're ready to go. Now it's time to add the three cups or 750 milliliters of cooking stock with the drippings to the saute pan. Grab a whisk, give it a little bit of a mix. Make sure that you scrape the bottom, the sides of the pan. You wanna incorporate that roux into that cooking liquid. You want this turkey gravy to be absolutely delicious and thick. We've got that burner over medium heat. We're bringing it to a simmer. If there's any impurities, you might wanna skim the top with a spoon or a ladle. You can simmer the gravy roughly two to five minutes or longer if you like it a little bit thicker, but once it coats the back of the spoon, you can run your finger across the spoon and it leaves a nice line. You're almost done. It's time to add a few final touches to this turkey bacon gravy. Now it's really important to taste the gravy before you start adjusting the seasoning. You're gonna add bacon in a little bit later. There's a lot of sodium in that bacon, the bacon grease. There's a lot of sodium or salt in that, uh, the turkey drippings. But you can adjust it, add a little bit of pepper if necessary, a dash of salt if needed, give it a little bit of a stir, and then we're almost there with this delicious homemade turkey gravy with bacon. So check it out, this really looks rich and delicious. It looks great just as is, but ho ho ho, here we go my friends, the bacon. Throw on in that chopped bacon that you chopped up at the very beginning, throw it on in and check this out. Give it a little bit of a mix, Look at those little chunks of goodness, those little bacon bits, fantastic. Drizzle this on your mashed potatoes, put it on that stuffing, drench the turkey in it, oh ho ho ho. Check it out, a delicious holiday gravy for Thanksgiving or Christmas, a delicious turkey gravy with bacon. Well, thanks for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. I hope that you enjoyed this turkey gravy recipe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, and for more sauce and gravy videos, smash that subscribe button, and to remember, as always, to live, love, and make gravy.